Hey guys, in this video I'll be going through how to solve the grading students problem on HackerRank. This is rated as an easy problem and I'll be solving it in JavaScript. So the problem here is we're at a school and we have a bunch of grades and we're trying to determine if we want to round a grade up. So the two rules at this school are first of all if a grade is less than 38 then it's a failing grade automatically so there's no point in trying to round it up. And then second of all, they want us to round the grade up if it's either one or two below a multiple of five. So for example, 44 would get rounded up because it's one below 45, which is a multiple of five. 43 would also get rounded up, but 42 will not get rounded. So the first thing that we want to code is a standard for loop to basically cycle through all of our grades. So we can just do four i equals zero and we want to loop as long as we have grades remaining i plus plus so within this loop we want to check if we want to round the grade up so we can do an if statement and within this condition we have to check first of all that the grade is greater or equal to 38 so we can just do grades i is greater or equal to 38 and then we want to check one more thing, right? We want to check that the number is one or two below a multiple of five. So the way to do that is with the modulo operator. So basically, if you don't know, uh, what modulo does is it gives you the remainder of a division. So for example, 40 modulo five would be remainder zero. And 43 modulo five would be remainder three. So if you look closely, there's a pattern. Every number that we want to round up is going to have modulo 5 equal to either 3 or 4. Um, so what we can do is just check for those two cases. So we will first check for modulo 3. So we can type in if grades i modulo 5 equals 3. And we have to make sure all these parentheses match up. And that's sometimes kind of tricky. So we want some right here. And then the second thing is if grades i modulo 5 equals 4. So we can just copy and do this. And then we want parentheses over this entire thing. And then we can paste it into our if condition. And then we're going to want uh, more parentheses. We want one on each end, I think. And that should be good. So within this if statement, we want to actually round the number. And then what we can do is just replace the original number with the rounded number. We don't have to create a whole new array, right? We can just use the old one. Uh, so to do this, basically, we just set the number to itself plus 5 minus itself modulo 5. So uh, the way we type that out, it's a lot easier to show you guys than to explain it. We can just do grades i plus 5 minus our grade modulo 5. So we can just pick a random number, say 53, and make sure that it gets rounded, right? So the first thing is 53 is greater or equal to 38, so we pass that. And then also uh, 53 modulo 5 is equal to 3, so we will pass this one, so we're in our uh, if block now and then we want to set it to the rounded number so we want to round to 55 so basically 53 is going to do uh, 53 plus 5 minus 53 modulo 5 and that's going to come out to be uh, 53 plus 5 minus 3 which is 2 and that's going to be 55 so that is correct and then lastly, we want to return our final array of rounded grades. And that's about it. So we can copy this over and run the tests. So that's all I've got for this one. Uh, not too difficult, but there's a lot of math involved. And really, you just got to find the pattern and then plug that into uh, code. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.